So that means three horns divide. There's actually another weapon seals thingy over here. No, okay, nothing there. So let's deploy another vehicle. Teleport to it. So that's step one. We got a vehicle. That is great. We got a vehicle. And now we need to head towards the Bloodshot Stronghold. We've actually seen the Stronghold already. It's in Three Horns... Uh, Gulch or what's it called? Three Horns, Three Horns, help me out here, game. Valley, Valley, it's there. And we've been here for the Assassin quest and for the Doc Mercy quest. And right here on the right is a dam. That's why it's called the Dam Fine Rescue. And that dam is actually the house of the Bloodshot Stronghold. Just drive up and honk your horn. Maybe this won't be so hard after all. So let's drive up, and this thing actually has a horn. Yeah, yeah, I'm opening the gate. And it's a stupid oh, bandit. The idiots! That don't look like one of our technicals. They're here for a hostage. Get them! So, flank stake, the leader of the Bloodshots here, realizes we're not uh, correct. Oh shit, the grenade is on our thing. Whew. That grenade just landed on our car. There we go, there goes that one. Just gonna take them out. So what Scooter just said is that Ellie might have a way of dealing with uh, this fecal problem of ours. So our uh, normal runner doesn't look like a technical, a bandit technical, so a bandit vehicle. I'm just gonna shoot this guy in the face. There we go. There we go. Just gonna heal up with this thing. So we need to talk to Ali to do that. Before we do that, I'm gonna quickly check out the notice port on the right here, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's on the right, yeah. Right next to the happy pig. So if you remember, that's the uh, the place where we killed uh, Doc Mercy. And we could technically kill him again. But that's that. And there's this little hub area. It's not really a hub area, but this also has a few side quests. That's your job. Pre-recorded message begins. Ah, the bloodshots are killing us! Ah! Pre-recorded message ends. Number one. You found the happy big motel, huh? Yeah, bloodshots wiped that place out for good after all and kicked him out of sanctuary. You might be able to turn everything back on if you activate that steam pump. So there we go. We can activate the steam pump to get things going again. I'm just gonna have to time this because there's a badass rank tied to the, the happy pig of the happy pig motel. Like this, I think. It should be good. We go up, up, up and away and then we need to land on the pig and we won't. Uh, I think this one's better. There we go. Stabilize. And there we go. This ain't my first rodeo. Five badass rank points for that. Just landing on top of the pig. Uh, and I think, yeah, we're gonna have to check. Oh, it's unpowered. So we need to power that up. So turn on the steam pump. There we go. Oh man, the steam pumps ain't working either. I see your problem. And I'm gonna take this slow so you can understand, alright? That thing's broke as hell. Yeah, I better scavenge some replacement parts from the other pumps near the motel. Now the bab you're looking for is way up at the tip of top of that pump. You have to climb your way up that thing like a snorting like a redhead on a slag bed if you want to get at it. The scooter is uh, giving us <clears throat> helpful advice, but let's some get like you turned off our steam pump. get the oh, parts. But the bandits aren't, of course, happy that we steal their stuff. There we go, and then they die. They're all a bit underleveled for our taste. So let's just whack them in the face. There we go. So the annoying thing is we don't have a vehicle anymore because our vehicle just blew up. So I'm going to have to do this by walking again. So then the skag file or Pullymon pal. There we go, killed the badass Bullymon. And now we're getting eaten by a bunch of skags. So that was a reference to the developers Gearbox Software. Which is, yeah, it's a fun little nod. But let's get to the last one. 
And the last one is over here. There we go. And it's empty. So this is random. We need to kill Skags until one of them drops it. And that one actually dropped it. Which is fine. Just gonna take out a few of these right now. Because they keep spawning, of course. Get away. Just gonna grab it. There we go. Should stop them spawning as well. Hey, side question. Is it weird when I notice the moment you pick something up? Did you know I can see you in the bathroom? Wait, was that weird? I'm in it like a spying on you in the bathroom out of friendship thing. Well, either way, let's plug that pucker in. That, that, that sound really gross, Scooter. It did sound really weird. You're looking at me like that. I don't want to be part of your extra special relationships, buddy. Okay. Well, looks like you got everything you need to repair that steam pump. Uh, just plug in banana boats in and the battery board will be as good stuff as an Olympic athlete whose parents have unrealistically high expectations of I do love um, Scooter's comparisons like that. Uh, I think we need to install a few parts, right? Yeah, so the bottom one over here, then we need to take... Are you serious right now? Are you seriously trying to kill me right now? Fuck off right now. Damn you. So that's what I'm talking about with the high respawn rate of these enemies. So there's one over here. And then we can shoot another ladder, I think. Can we shoot that thing? No. Just gonna have to jump up on it. And then get the steam valve repaired as well. So that gives us the steam valve, capacitor and gearbox. And turns the power back on. So that thing is back on the bottom. The valve we tried earlier. And turn that on. And we have power. It's also, it's also something in here. I think. There we go. Catch a job! And we can turn that in and on and everything over there. So uh, the happy big bounty board is now open for business. We can get that, but we already unlocked it. There we go, bounty hunter. So that's for completing 20 or 25 side quests, I think. The mail must arrive on time. So this is an annoying one. I'm gonna do it just really quickly, just because I wanna do all the side quests. Hey you, the bloodshots just crippled my last courier, Dino. I'll pay you if you mail these packages out quick enough. So once we pick up, you're ready to deliver them. so it's clearly, um, where, where are the packages? They're on top of the bus, right? God damn it. So once I pick up these packages, the timer is going to start and it's a really, really tight start timer. So uh, neither rain nor sleet nor skags, better hurry to deliver these. So pick those up and then the timer is started already. So let's just grab ourselves a vehicle. And now we need to s hope that this thing doesn't break. So, oh, cool. Yeah, that was a great start. So five packages that we need to deliver in the bandit camp we cleared out uh, earlier. God damn you, skags. So let's drive in between here and then over here, get out. And that's our first mailbox. And we get 15 seconds extra for that. And then we can go, I think the next one is down there, right? Yeah. Just gonna go, oop, there we go. Doesn't really matter, I have the, the fancy shield. So that's a little bit that, that's 15 seconds extra again. Don't really care about the damage. Could also just use a hologram to go faster. He's down. I think it's up here, right? Nope, nope, it's not up here. It's up there. Because if I say it's tight, I mean it's really, really tight. So is it... Ah, oh, it's down there. There we go. Let's deliver that. Then we can... Oh, no, no time, no time. Oh, that's a grenade. That's not good. Okay. Right next to the box, which is fine. Then we can go up. I'm gonna have to go up that one first and then end up the other area. So, all the way up. I don't care about you. Don't care about your problems. And there's the next one. 
And then we have 40 seconds to deal with the last one, which is on the other side of this camp. It's up there. And as you can see, it's really tight. I haven't been wasting... Oh, it's not up there. It's down here. So we have 20 seconds left. And there we go. Unfortunately, you're fired. Because Dino's recovered enough to get back on his route. I haven't recovered. You just duct taped my legs to these pogo sticks. Fit as a fiddle, he is. Anyway, kid, your severance is in the mail. There we go. So, we got fired immediately and he just fixed up uh, Dino with some Ogre Sticks. Yeah, this game is, is, is horrible sometimes. This game is really, really horrible sometimes. So let's open that up. And there's more crap in that because, yeah, these weapon chests don't really have anything for us. Now, do they? Moving back. And while I say that, what the hell is going on? What? I opened up the last chest in this area and it has the po... Nope, don't throw me off here. It has the potent flacker. So that's three shots with the 320% weapon damage boost. Flack the world. Okay, don't mind if I do. That's our fourth legendary. And we only just started. And there we go, we can turn this in as well. I do love the flavor text sometimes. Your stint as a career for the Pandora Postal Service was brief, but positively fraught with excitement. Future Pandoran couriers will point to your brief tenure and say how very excitement fraught that career stint was. Never, they will say, had there been a fraught year period in the history of the service. So the, um, yeah, the sarcasm just tripped from that, didn't it? I think that's it for now. There isn't any more on that board. Which also means that we're gonna go and continue with the main quest now. So talk to Ellie. Ellie is an interesting character to say the least. And we'll talk to her when we're in the dust. I finally made it to the dust, huh? You've been off the echo for hours. Thought you might have got brain or something. But you ain't so. Yay. Stuff. Stuff. Yay. And stuff. And stuff. So this is a good indication that sometimes the load times are actually concealing lots of hours of travel time and that's actually needed because we came from a uh, quite a frosty area and we're getting attacked by a buzzard immediately i'm just gonna try and hit it but as long as it's that far away i can't really hit it unless of course now there we go and this area as you can see is a lot higher level so these guys are level 13 and 14 Let's kill these guys off the vehicle and we're getting into some vehicle warfare. There we go. But we need to talk to Ali first. So let's just do that and drive over some uh, spider ants. And let's meet Ali. Because she's a lovely woman. I should have killed your fat ass when I had the chance. Language. Ali likes cuddling and murder. There we go. <laughs> that was awesome. Hi, Ellie. Oh, hey, Ellie. I didn't see you there. She's lovely, isn't she? Let's talk to Ellie, because she's a, a very friendly woman. Name's Ellie. My brother Scooter told me you was coming. Don't get many visitors around here, especially not one so cute. Trying to rescue your pal Roland from the dam, huh? I bet you could fool those blood shops if you drove up in one of their custom trucks. I got one right over yonder that I... Crushed with the driver still inside. My bad. Well, I got a vanilla technical in the shop and most of the parts we need. Just gotta doll it up with some more of the bandits' trimmings. Spikes, blood, skulls, that kind of thing. You could probably scavenge that stuff from the bandit patrols around here. So there we go. We need to destroy a bunch of bandits in their cars. And that would be enough to uh, make ourselves a technical of our own. Not to blow up some bandit cars and grab the crap from the wreckage. Start calling your names. Just makes killing them that much more fun. It does, Ellie. It sure does. So let's go on a rampage here and destroy some bandits. Ah, so you and my sister are getting along pretty well, huh? That's cool. That's cool. Of course, you make fun of the way she looks. So I have to tie you to a vending machine and set you on fire. But it's not good. Cool. So there we go. Ellie and Scooter's sister, which is actually really cool. Because they are, are kind of in the same line of business. So let's grab that. There we go. Oh, 
There we go. That's the second one. I want to get my health back. There we go. The car actually auto regenerates health, but that was pretty close. Uh, I think there might be another spawn in a second, because they usually come out of these garages. Let's move to the other area and try to kill a few over there. There goes another one. There goes the buzzards. So the vehicles are really unruly, so try to trying to drive these things while shooting is uh, harder than it looks. I just want to heal up now. So that's another part. Almost got a bandit car. Roland can handle whatever the bloodshots dish out, but I generally don't like letting him get tortured any longer than I have to. I think there's one more behind this hill. Although, yeah, I saw it driving around here. There it is. There it is. Oh, wow. I think this one has rockets. Oh, there it goes. It's skirting the edge of the map for some reason. Shooting up the bandits also works. And I'm just going to have to reverse to get that thing. There we go, the final part. You got the parts? Great. Just bring them back and we'll get you rolling. Uh, get you rolling or catch a ride, as uh, Scooter would say. So that's a random encounter, the caravan leader. Uh, I'm just gonna leave him be for now, because they actually carry a weapons crate that might actually contain some nice stuff. But uh, he's guarded by two technicals, so I'm not gonna deal with that just now. Uh, are, are you having trouble? Bye. So this is kind of a safe area. They won't bother us here. So let's just uh, turn this in. There we go. Got your car ready over there. Let's make some modifications and you'll be good to go. So that's the base frame of the technical. Now we need to build it, which just automatically adds the four wheels we found. All right, looking good. Now we just got to get in the catch a ride system. There we go. She's going to scan it in. And that gives us the blueprint to just redeploy a technical wherever we go. There we go. All digitized. So that's the same way we are actually constructing Ruben, our weapons out of thin air. And that's called bit. digistructing. So they can kind of pull out real you objects out of nowhere. Stop setting my customers on fire. I can take care of myself. Okay, I'll tell them that. Wanna help me with something? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Let's do that Have you seen as those well. Hood ornaments the Hodunks made to me? I think they're trying to mock me or something. But that design is bad ass. Could you scrap some of their cards and bring me a few of those ornaments? I will. Ellie, if I come across any, I definitely will. And I think there's another oh. quest over here. Ah, he's on the outside here. I don't know what he's all about. I don't recall him. Loggings. Loggings. Why are you on a pedestal? Hello, Loggings. Goose. Danger zone. Bring an incendiary or explosive weapon. Got I'm that. In the danger zone, man. My buddies kicked me out of their gyro squad, and now they're celebrating with a round of psycho head volleyball. Steal their balls and burn their net. Okay, that sounds simple. We need to go to the buzzard camp and destroy the volleyball stuff. Aside from the fact that the volleyball is a psycho head, but uh, okay, moving on. So, but we're gonna head towards the main quest again. Because that's actually uh, going to be better. I'm actually going to use the fast travel station. going to be quicker. Uh, so we can rescue Roland from the bloodshots now that we have the bandit technical. So now that we're back in Treehorn Valley, we can actually use the catch a ride system to spawn a bandit technical. And that looks a bit different. That looks exactly like the bandit vehicles we saw before. I think I need to swap to the barrels. Yeah, because the barrels are just way more fun and now we can choose a color not that the differences are that huge but i'm gonna go with the tiger print the brown zebra there we go so deploy and teleport so now we have this thing which uh, has a machine gun and of course the barrels that we can throw but with that we can actually Drive go to this there we, we go let you in now that your ride looks all bloodshotty there we go let's do that honk our horn it looks like one of ours let him in while I try to get Iberian back on the horn. 
And there we go, the bandits are actually in league with Hyperion itself, which is uh, an interesting take. So there we go, the gate goes down. It is actually impossible to drive into the gate, because, you know, it's still blocked a bit. So let's get out. No, no, not, not switch to the gunner seat. I'm just gonna go out like this, and then we're gonna head in. <laughs> we're gonna get attacked immediately. So that's that gun. So I'm using the spiker, which actually has a delayed fire. Uh, which actually only starts doing damage after I've injected the enemies with a few spikes. Like that. I think he's gonna die from burn damage. There we go. It's a very fun gun if you can actually land your hits. Uh, I think he's... where is he? There he is. There we go. Ah, uh, there we go. He blew up. And now we can actually move forward towards Cape of Tenink. Yeah, there is this a weapons chest. I'm actually gonna check that out first. Um, and this one, thank you. That's actually a corrosive grenade. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, we got another boss. Bad Maul. He's uh, pretty much a badass nomad, but... And he has something extra. Bad Maul. And as you can see, there's something attached to a shield. And it's three freaking merry midgets. There we go. But there's something fun about those midgets. You can actually shoot them loose. And then they start attacking Bad Maw himself. Oh god. So now those midgets are actually attacking Bad Maw as well. Wow, that flacker does a lot of damage. I'm not using... That's that, uh, the legendary shotgun that we found. Holy shit balls. Two bits of iridium. Don't mind if I do. And then we have the Patriot's Fighter. A shock pistol. And then, of course, the bridge key and a TDR shotgun. I'm not gonna spend that just yet. But that flacker does spend four ammo per shot. Which is cool. But yeah, not something that is too handy if we're not dealing with very high-powered enemies. Uh, so I'm going back up here because there was a weapons chest. Anything fancy? A bazooka. That's our first bazooka, actually. Rocket launcher. There we go. I'm gonna take that. Yeah, the thing so. So on the back of the east side of this area, there's another weapons chest. And that actually has a blue explosive shotgun. The fixated stalker. It does... Hmm. Moderate damage, actually. It's not as fancy as the legendary I'm equipped with now, but it does... I think I'm gonna go with that. It seems like the damage is a bit more focused. And I can have more shots with that. And there's the three midgets that we blew up. That looks a bit sad, doesn't it? Uh, cooldown rate... Hmm. It actually is really good as well, but the health regeneration is fine for now. I'm gonna go with that. I can insert the key. And then we can pull the bridge back down. Although we even saw the bridge go down with uh, Bad Maul's appearance. You can actually die from that when the bridge comes down. Is there another one? I'm starting to think that there might be another <laughs> weapons chest in the back here. Oh no, there's this thing. There we go. Cult of the Vault. And there might not be another weapons chest up here now. No, I was wrong, so let's head into the Bloodshot Stronghold in the dam, so we can try and rescue Roland, finally. Because even even the, the entrance to this place looks really, really cool. It looks kind of like a... I don't know, like a bull's head, maybe? I don't know what they're trying to convey here. Next time on Borderlands 2, we get gaming advice from Flanksteak. Shut the hell up and stop dying all the goddamn time!